Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Easy Tutorials and today in this video we will learn how to make a website with auto typing text. As you can see on my computer screen here I have a web page with auto typing text and you can see these texts are changing and these texts are changing with beautiful typing effect. So we will learn how to design this web page with typing effect using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So let's start this video. Here I have this folder and in this folder I have created one HTML file, one CSS file and you can see the another folder called images with some image that I will be using on this website. You can download all these images from the link given in the description. Now I will open these files with my code editor which is VS Code. So this is the HTML file where I have added basic HTML structures and this one is the CSS file and I have connected the HTML and CSS file with this link tag. Now we will add the code in the body tag that will be displayed on our web page. So here we will add a div with the class name header. Now we will add the CSS properties for this header. So let's add this class name in the CSS file and here we will add the CSS properties like width. 100% height 100vh then we will add the background let's add this color code then color it will be triple f which is white and let's add some padding 0 and 8.5% position relative after adding this, let's open our web page. So open this HTML file with any web browser and you can see a dark color on the complete web page. Let me close this browser and I will open this browser with the VS Code extension called Live Server. So you can see the same web page with a background color. Now let's come back and here we will add a nav tag and within this nav tag first we have to add one image for the logo so let's add the file path images slash logo dot png you can see in our folder there is a file called logo dot png so here we have added images slash logo dot png and let's add a class name also so it is logo after that we will add some links so let's add the list ul tag li tag and a for the anchor tag now in this a tag we will add the text so it is home let's duplicate it and we will change the text second one will be about then the next one is portfolio and the last one is services And after this ul tag, let's add another img images slash it will be menu.png. So here we will add the menu icon. Let's add the class name menu icon. Now you can see the logo, link text and the menu icon on this web page. So now we have to design this one. So let's come back and uh, we will copy this nav write it here in the CSS file now for this nav we will add the CSS properties now you can see all these contents in the same horizontal line let's come back and copy this class name logo write it here For this logo, we will add width. Cursor pointer. Let's copy the class name menu icon. Here also we will copy the same thing and the width will be 35 pixel. 
after that you can see in this nav we have the ul and li so let's come back here we will add nav ul let's add the flex one text align right padding right it will be 40 pixel you can see the changes on the web page next we will add the css properties for the list so let's come back copy this one write li for this li we will add display inline block list style it will be none and let's add margin copy this one then write a tag for this a we will add the color text decoration will be none let's add the letter spacing one pixel and font size will be 17 pixel next we will add the hover effect on these menu link for that come back copy this one right hover here we will add another color code now you can see different color whenever i take cursor over any menu link now we will add some text on the web page so let's come back and after closing of this nav tag let's add some space and uh, here we will add another div with the class name text box within this text box we will add a text in h1 tag now you can see this name here i am anna amelia let's come back and after that we will add another text also in p tag you can see this a small text also and let's add some links here we will add one a tag and uh, link text will be contact me let's duplicate this and we will add another text here it is download cv so you can see two links here contact me download cv so let's add the css for this text and link copy this text box write it here in the css file let's add margin top it will be 15 percent then font size let's write 17 pixel and uh, after that we will add letter spacing one pixel next we will add line height of 26 pixel copy this and uh, write h1 for this h1 we will add font size it will be increased font size let's say 75 pixel and after that I will add line height so it will be 160 pixel so it is like this now let's copy this one then write a tag after adding this you can see the changes in this button let's add one more thing it will be text decoration none now we will add a background color in the second button and the button text will be black so let's come back and in the second link we will add a class name 
called btn come back to the css file copy this one then write dot btn in this one we will add the background this color code then we will add color triple zero which is black let's add margin from the left side it will be 30 pixel and font weight will be 600 now you can see color in the second button next we have to add a image on the right side so let's come back and uh, after closing of this text box div we will add img tag write the file path images slash user dot png and uh, let's add a class name so the class name is user img now just copy this class name write it here for this class we will add width 540 pixel then position will be absolute right let's add 8% uh, then bottom bottom will be 0 now you can see this image over here you can see this text is very long so we have to add a line break in this text let's come back and here we will add a br to change the line now you can see this text in two lines now the next thing is to add the typing effect and the text will be changing for that come to google and search for typed.js open this github link you can find this github link in the video description also here you can see the creator for this script and uh, scroll down and you will find a cdn link here just copy this one and paste it in your html file just above this closing body tag like this after adding this link let's add another script tag script open and closing tag here we will add where typed equal to new typed And here we have to add a class name so you can see here we have to display the changing text so let's remove this text from here and here we will add one span tag span open and closing tag and within this span let's add a class name auto input so we have added this class name auto input so we will add the same class name here with a dot auto input after that we will add comma curly braces here we will add strings and in this strings we will add the text that we want to display on the web page so let's add the first text this is the name after that we will display the another text web developer let me add one more text ui designer type speed So the type speed will be 100 now we will add the back speed it will be 100 and loop it will be true after updating this let's open the web page again and now you can see this text is changing with beautiful typing effect so this is how we have created this web design with auto typing text 
I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel Easy Tutorials to watch more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video.